Welcome back, guys. Episode 2 of the Lons Master League. Thank you so much for your support in episode 1. And thank you for 8,000 subs. You guys are watching my channel. I'm playing a game that's 2 years old, 3 years old, really. So really appreciate it, guys. Now, today, big news. We're getting into the objectives. We have the press conferences. And we have a lot of gameplay and a lot of incredible goals as well. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy so if you're liking it guys don't forget to subscribe give the video a like let's get into the objectives so read all your comments guys really good suggestions i'm not exactly sure of the rewards or penalties just yet for these objectives but i'm happy with these 20 goals with Lois Openda, 20 goal contributions with frankowski and buksa our two polish players 25 appearances for an under 23 player concede less than 40 goals in league r and qualify for Europe so I have some ideas like I said when it comes to the incentives or the penalties for example with Luis Openda's objective perhaps we can scout best young players in Belgium if he is able to achieve that so you'll see what makes sense you can drop some more ideas but before the end of the season we will figure this out now it's time for the press conference all right guys thanks for your questions let's kick it off with Richard how do you intend to integrate the academy players into this team so normally in my series guys we have these academy players they join at the beginning of the series and we see how they do did not add them in to start this one but they will be coming in january and in the summer so you'll be seeing new team players come in hopefully pushing their way into the team maybe pushing out an established veteran it will have to make sense obviously and they'll have to perform on the pitch but new team players are coming very very soon Fofana seems to be performing inconsistently, even losing his cool in some matches, losing the ball late, getting a yellow. How confident are you in his ability to lead the locker room going forward? And secondly, if, if Fofana continues with the weak streak, bring in Gabriel Obertan. You remember former Manchester United man? Um, experienced footballer could be useful. We'll see. Obviously, he's a vet. I want to bring in some older players. I'm not sure if Obertan is hanging around still or if he makes sense for us, but definitely get the idea. Now, Seiko Fofana, I saw a lot of comments about him. He did not play as badly as it looked like in the episode. Uh, I'm not saying he was amazing, but there are some moments that didn't make it into the highlights. So, I'm fine with Seiko Fofana for now. That's our captain. I know we're going to have to fight off a lot of teams in Europe for him at some point because he's one of our highest rated players. So, we'll see what happens with Seiko Fofana. And finally here, Ben. Time for the legend Terry to make a comeback. Appreciate that. Uh, he's asking about the emergence of Japanese and South Korean players recently in the top European leagues. Are the boarded lawns looking to potentially dip into the new market? With lots of promises for a bargain as long as proper scouting is set up. Really good question here and indeed. Of course, guys, as you know, last series we had Kenta Tanaka. But this time we're going to look around. We'll see what players, even in some other smaller nations that may make sense, could be a bargain deal. We cannot spend a lot of money with lawns. We want to make sure. We're making deals that make sense and now we are into the episode coupe de france action to kick things off now french cup action we're taking on paris fc Oh, 
across the... And there it is, 1-0 at the break. Oh, brilliant stuff, Morgan Rogers. Rogers. Oh, he pulls it wide. And Gaston Allen, not a good match for him. David Costa coming on. To Sunday! And there is the of And the tie. Coming up here. Excellent stuff. Need some head. Come on, son! Oh, great effort! What a save! That's a match winner if I've seen one. Wow. Oh, and this is disrespectful. You're going to remember this. What a pass this is here. But the finish is spectacular. Martin books are on. No, 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 no,
Oh, Samba! Woo! Watch to it to Morgan Rogers! Samet. PSG rising up the table. They'll soon overtake Monaco and run away with the title, I'm sure. Well, now he's injured, so he's gonna miss his match against his former team. David Costa gets a start, so does Thomasen. Rogers and Openda up top. Jacob Fofana back into the side. Thierry or his team just keeps surprising. today. Excellent assist. 2-2. Two -two. Beginning to love everything I'm seeing from David Costa here. Good pace. Gets into the final third. Cuts it over to a pender. It's a good finish. Another exciting tie here. Our defense just not as good as before. But at least we're scoring enough to stay in these matches. 45 minutes left to play. And oh Samba what a stop. Great save by Bryson. a madman it's his second goal of the match he nutmegs the keeper it is beautiful 3-2 have a look at this for Fana no more Costa runs onto it and that finish oh my word look at that Try 
so hard to clinch this here. Costa. Costa! Oh, what? What's going on? <laughs> what are these goals? Luis Openda with his screamer, David Costa gets an assist. What a match! Idara in. Costa flicks it on and Openda catches it on the volley. This is playground stuff for Max. Absolutely incredible football here. Big performance here on the road and we keep on winning. High scoring yet again. David Costa has himself a match. Maybe solidifying himself into our starting 11. After that, how can you bench him? We're two points behind PSG. Just like real life, Lon's doing really well here. I've really enjoyed using the team. They're moving well. Players are popping up in good positions. Players are now beginning to separate themselves from the pack. Excellent to see. And Morgan Rogers is making a name for himself in France. Rogers has become a favorite of TADRE. And as a winger slash forward combo, there are few people in football history you could learn more from. Rogers doing well here. Remains to be seen if Pep Guardiola would be interested in bringing the young Englishman back into Manchester City next season. But for now, he's loving life here at Lens in Liga. Mm, some ominous signs. Our defense not looking great. Gradit comes in today for Medina. <laughs> Catch up here. And they go back again. Oh, but I mean, just as we say it, Sudamana makes us pay. It's a good cross inside. Amingariri silences the Boulet de la Lise. It's 1 0 to the visitors. Markovsky having a red one. And it's a very good pass through. And Goyer, he can make it too. And he hits. Suleimana doubles the lead. What a finish from the Ghanaian. And it is 2 0 Stad Rene. Get ready to take on Lille and Buxa will miss one match with that tackle. Look at it. Welcome to the Stad du Moustroir. Lorient hosting on some changes for Thierry Army's side today. Sitting well, it's headed down, it's going up the line. Maybe not trying to get it, it's wide. Well, no idea how he misses 
this brilliant save from Bryce Samba. He's been excellent this season. Nahi. Ofana. Otenda. Seiko still going. Seiko for Fana. Mvobo with the save. Oh, Fana can get back to it. Lorian failed to react quickly there. Nil, nil, Lorian. Started well. Lons grew into the game right before the break. Aydar. Ricardo Unahi. That's really excellent football. And Fana. Oh, Pele tripped up. Now, that could be a red. Maybe a bit harsh of booking. Can they say a good first touch from the Belgian? And he's really off there. He's off. Remember, guys, I have uh, Twiggy's Puma patch, which makes these free kicks so difficult. But I do like it. I do like it, because then we earn it if we ever score one. Oof. And Vogo. A good stop. All right, Abdul Samed and David Costa coming off. Morgan Rogers and Adrian Thomas. He's going to pull a so <laughs> Kevin Danto Oh now he has freed Thomason And he puts it in Adrian Thomason It's one nil in the seventy-seventh minute and it's love in the air one nil lots And getting better and better here really really excellent pass Thomas has the composure to finish past Vogo and take the lead. And there it is. 1-0. Adrian Thomason with the match winner in the 77th minute off the bench. We're back to winning ways. It's three points on the road. 8.5 for Thomason off the bench. Now he had a good game as well. Costa, disappointing honestly. But we move. And with that, we're into the top three. Five points back of PSG. Not much hope there, honestly. Maybe we can catch Nice. I'm really, really, really impressed with how we've been playing. Uh, I didn't really expect us to do this well this season. Checking the top scorer so far, it's Messi with five. Openda has three. Bunch of players with two goals. Wow. And then in terms of assists, Openda with three as well. Costa with three. So Openda's having some season. <laughs> Now, heavy rumors circulating that Jonathan Gredit could be on the move to none other than Atletico Madrid Diego Simeone. Happy with Gredit's talent and performances. A chance that the veteran Frenchman could be moving to La Liga. And the players are clearly looking forward to the derby. Lille in seventh position. Kevin Dancer giving an interview here. This game is the most important of all. But Dancer has been incredible. His performance in the last match away at Lorient was impeccable. Surely big teams from across Europe will be interested in the Austrian. He's really found a home here in France and really revived his career after a couple shaky years. Kevin Dancer, what a centre back. Lance have been incredible all season. Top three are playing some really inspired football. They have a big derby coming up against Lille, but they must take care of business here against Strasbourg. First, Adrian Thomason, given the start today after his match winning goal against Lorient last time out. Thomason himself will take it. It's a really good pass inside. The final goes well. Oh, I thought the referee was part of Strasbourg. Look at Roger as Who's part of Strasbourg right now? It is 1-0 Luis Opeta's fourth goal of the season. And Morgan Rogers gets himself an assist. 1-0 line. Rogers gets us in. And there are about four or five defenders there watching Luis Opeta headed home. What happens here? Samba's ready. Oh! Great save! Wow! As he gets treatment. I don't like the look at that! Um. Beaten in the air, Maximovic has to do better. Kevin Gamir rising like a phoenix. Look at that. It's a really good header. Now it's going wide. Ofana just reacting. I can't believe him. That's his best. And it's right behind. Okay. Thank you for this post. If this post does not save Seko Ofana from the dumbest decision ever. To be fair, it's me. I'm trying to clear the goal. But this goal post stops Ofana. <laughs> Clearing it off by Samba into the back of the net. Instead, it glitches out. He kicks Samba, his foot's moving. And then Samba 
does get it clear and doesn't hit anyone. Um, they're gonna squawk to all that. Oh my word, are you? <laughs> I'll give you guys a 20 minute lecture and they score immediately after. It's 1 1. Half time, 1 1 here. That's it. Ufana. Rogers. Pendo. Morgan Rogers holds clear. Sales has to make a stop. Oh, he's beaten easily. And he's beaten Maximovich as well. But it's a really poor header in there by Jerky. That's all it takes, and it's 2 1 Strasbourg. Just that. Oh, split second, really. Kevin Gamero in the 75th minute. Not what we wanted before the derby against Lille. It is Derby Day. TADRV taking questions from the media. I'm not worried. All right, so Maximovich misses it. Yes, Maximovic not prepared to play this match. So Jean Onana, our backup holding midfielder, is going to be center back in the derby. Let's see how he does. We're throwing him into the fire. Let's take on Lille. Welcome to the Stade Pierre Monoy. It's Lille versus Lance. Now he wants to run a 
Saeed! And it's through Messi Saeed. One on one. Off the post! No! Oh! Ah! It's a shame. Dina! The header. Winning the Ballon d'Or, we'll find out soon. It is Kylian Mbappé. Up next, we take on Ajaxio. And a bit of a goalkeeping crisis today. But what we will do is actually, we are going to start. Gredit, the man in the news, gets a start today. He's on great form. Ajaxio taking on lots. And again, Samba. 
this is it, Mike. Oh my god. 3 2. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna move again. Ovation from the stand, Bolaire de l'Elysse. 
David Costa with a hat trick. He come from behind hat trick, if you will. And he is the star of the Lions attack at the moment. Alexis Club Reese coming on for him. A second half hat trick as well, but such a shame. I didn't keep him on the pitch so we could see him walk off with the match ball. But he was really tired. If I left him on longer, he would have been injured. 9.4 for Mr. Costa. All right, so still in fifth, Marseille right behind us. PSG continue to pull away, but we want to stay with this top group.